Feeling like for you, man? Obviously, uh, you know, first game, and you've been another long road off season to get to this point. Uh, how you feeling? What's the what's the what are you feeling like? Uh, I feel good. I feel 100. I feel excited. Uh, almost overwhelmed with the uh, with uh, the emotions that I have uh, going into game one again. Now, uh, super excited, super stoked uh, to be a part of this again. So I'm excited to be back. It's not the first time you've had to do this, where you've had the, the uh, coming off the injury, you know, missing spring, trying to get back healthy. The same storyline. I mean, what what's different about this time, or why, why you you know what's the feeling like? I guess as you try to do this again and stay healthy this year. Uh, well, uh, the staff and the training staff, we all had created a great plan this year. Uh, start to start this season off. So the plan from last year to this year is totally different. Uh, and I trust that plan, so. Marco, what is the feeling of play one of a football season? Mm -hmm. what, what, is, what is the feeling when you step on the field for play one? Yeah, that's gonna be a, a super exciting feeling when I get out there, uh, play one, getting out there, just feeling the environment, feeling uh, the fans screaming. Uh, I'm gonna feel really excited. The emotions may take me, but I'm gonna be dialed in on what I gotta do. How big is the challenge against these receivers? Uh, it's a really big challenge. These guys are best in the nation. Uh, they have the number one offense in the country. Uh, Michael Penix, Heisman watch. I mean, these guys are, uh, are legit, but we got a plan and we're going to execute it. What makes them different? What makes them, what makes them a cut above others? Yeah, so uh, watching film, these guys are explosive. These guys are fast. Uh, they're physical. They're bigger guys. Uh, but the game plan that we have, uh, we should be able to be good. Do you, do you like it this way? Would you rather go up against the Heisman type QB right off the gate, you know, right off the bat, and then in game one? Yeah, I would, one hundred percent. Line all all the Heisman watches up <laughs> on the schedule because, like I said, like this is football, and to go where we want to go, we got to play the best. So, we've heard from, this, oh, oh, we've heard from players all week, you know, regarding the top ten matchup. You know, this is why they come to Boise State. You know, mm -hmm. just what's the excitement of you know playing a playing a team that's so highly ranked and you know being in that spotlight. Yeah, so playing somebody highly ranked in the top 10, that's obviously motivating for the uh, team. Uh, the, going into these situations, going into these big type of games, it, it's extremely motivating for us to go out there and beat these guys. So, you name the starter. You've won this job three straight years. Mm. Not a lot of people do that at this level. What's that mean to you inspirationally and inside that you were able to get that done? Well, it was by the help of my teammates. Uh, they were there every step of the way through my recovery. Uh, encouraged me to be the best I can. So I fed off that energy uh, and went with it. So Everybody's rooting for you, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants Markel to have a good year and play a whole season. Do you feel that? Do you sense that? Do you read it on social media? What's that mean to you if you do? Yeah, I sense a lot of that uh, support and a lot of that love through the social media, through the community, through my teammates, through my coaches, through everybody. So uh, I really do appreciate that love and support because that, that's what keeps me going too as well. I mean, you didn't have to come back this year. You, you obviously had a long road rehab, and you just we were talking at the bowl game. You said, "No, yeah, I'm coming back for sure." Like now that it's worked out, and here you are, and you're starting, and you're healthy, and you're ready to go. I mean, what, what what's the, the feeling like? I guess that all your the last you know nine ten months was worth it. It's almost an unbelievable feeling for me because uh, having things taken away from me, uh, it's like again, this isn't gonna be taken away from me. But being able to be grateful for everything that I've been able to do, uh, being grateful for what I've been through. Uh, you know, I'm just really appreciative of of that feeling. So, do, do you step on the field any differently, like uh, just with what you've had to deal with, and, and never knowing when you know a play could be your last? I mean, do you approach the game mindset-wise any different now? Yeah, I do. I definitely approach the game definitely different. Uh, I don't approach it uh, scared, but I, I approach it in a different manner than I did before. Obviously, wanting to stay healthy, obviously wanting to play safer, and just in the way I train. So, anything you learn about the game of football itself? Oh yeah. Last year, what would it makes you a better corner just from observing last year? Yeah. So all those mental reps I got in the off season definitely helped me. Uh, with the game of football, you can never stop learning. You can always there's always room for improvement. And being able to be a sponge in the in the uh, film room, outside on the sideline, and just staying locked in on the sideline with the guys uh, that definitely helped build my mentality for the game. I know you're on social media and stuff. I mean, and with all the guys you lost on defense last year, I mean, that's probably the one area you guys on defense where maybe the fans have some questions or a little nervous about how it's going to go. I mean, I know you got a lot of guys ready to step into those big roles, but what's the feeling like as a defense I mean, in terms of the, the chip on the shoulder or wanting to you know, show people that, uh, you know, that this defense can still be elite? Yeah, uh, as a defense, we're extremely motivated uh, to go out there game one, to uh, prove ourselves, 
prove to the brotherhood, to ourselves, prove to the community, uh, and literally prove all the doubters wrong. So uh, we have a really good uh, plan as a defense to go in and accomplish what we plan on. You mentioned the quarterback Penix, the wide receivers. What maybe might be different about these guys and most of you know that position you've seen in the past? Uh, yeah, so obviously, like I said, Washington is a they're a top offense in the country with the quarterback, with the receivers they have. They're all projected first rounders. Uh, so our preparation uh, coming into this week was extremely uh, detailed. So we know that uh, what we expect to see. So we expect to dominate. So. What's the best part of Markel Reed's game? His corner side speed, athleticism, hands, zone, man to man. What do you bring to the table that you're most proud of? What are you best at? Uh, my football intelligence, uh, being able to know where I'm supposed to be, being able to know what calls I'm supposed, to, uh, what can happen, being ahead of uh, situations, and knowing what can happen before the play happens. So that's what I feel like uh, improves my game of football. So. What is America going to say? when they see TG10 just running all over the dogs this season. You've seen them all, all practice all summer. Yeah, they're going to see a lot from 10 for sure because 10's going to have his breakout year for sure this year. He's going to prove a lot of doubters wrong.